Hello everybody, welcome back to a new let's play. We're going to start with a new let's play. You see my Wii screen! Yay! So many stuff that I have on my Wii. Don't care. Anyway, time for a GameCube game. And you know what's going to be. Let's start. Yeah, it's still in Dutch, I know, but yeah, well, who gives a shit? It says beginnen. Wow, I said something Dutch in the first 20 seconds of this episode. A game by Nintendo, Dolby Surround, ProLogic, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's get my fancy GameCube controller and let's listen to this sound because we're going to start with the Wind Waker! Ah, oh, don't you love that music? We're going to start the let's play of the Wind Waker before we start 2012! <sighs> okay, let's just start to play. Well, um... I thought about the name and some people said that uh, Link would be better in uh, my Let's Play. But many people love the running joke of Steven. So yeah, you can see my file there, GP20 and my real name of course. And You can see that Questlog 1 is already finished so that uh, has a special uh, thingy on it. So we could start that one. But we're just doing it a normal one because uh, yeah, we want to have a green tunic and all. So we're going to start and we're going to enter my name. Great. Well, we're going to start with... Steven. So yeah. Um. By the way, yeah, I had an awesome Christmas and uh, Zip Tonical as well. Uh, she got a 3DS, <laughs> her own 3DS, so she can uh, play a lot of games now. It's awesome. And we are really busy lately with Mario 7 together, and that's really awesome to do that. So anyway, <clears throat> this is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a pros pro prosperous land blessed with green forest, tall mountains and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared, as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then a day came when a foul wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever shielded away by the hero once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by the onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they've left their future in the hands of fate. What become of the kingdom? What became of that kingdom? None remain. Who knew? Yeah, sorry for some flaws in the text. Whatever. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age.
clothed in the grain of fields. They are prized to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The Elder wished only for the Yout to know courage like the hero of legend. Oh, that was interesting. And here we are at the game. Here we're going to start. And we get an oversight view of Outset Islands, where we see a bridge and we see the wind blow and we see a lot of water and we see houses and we see Link. <laughs> Big brother! Kick away that seagull, will you? Well, whatever. <coughs> so anyway, yeah, we're going to start with the Wind Waker. Big brother! Oh, so sorry, excuse me! Well, okay, well, whatever. Anyway, yeah, we uh, played a lot of uh, Mario Kart, excuse me, Mario Kart 7 on uh, the 3DS, and I keep winning. Big brother! So, yeah, and Sleep Funny Girl is uh, also really good at racing, so sometimes he beats me and sometimes he doesn't beat me. Oh my gosh, I was sleeping! Oh my god, where did you go? Oh my god, storyline! <laughs> Boring! I know. I know you put me here! Oh god. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out the sea. When I play with the girls, I call it Owl's Lookout. Don't care. It's boring. So do you remember what day it is today? Uh, yes, today it's 29 December, if I'm not mistaken. You're still half asleep, aren't you? Would you please stop moving like that? That's getting on my nerves. Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! Oh yeah, seriously, and I'm forgetting my own birthday. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Thank you, Mickey Mouse. It's a good thing I came to fetch you. <laughs> Jesus. First episode that I'm going wrong. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Blah. Okay, well, let's go. Anyway, we'll have the movement right here in the game. Great, I can move around. And almost hit, uh, get hurt by a long fall, breaking my legs because I can. Well, anyway, uh, let's talk about Christmas. Uh, this year was one of the great Christmases I uh, have ever had because uh, yeah, I'm living on my own together with CP20 girl, uh, Yanni. So, <laughs> yeah. Best Christmas ever, uh, actually. So, well, no, not a bit. It, yeah, sometimes I'm missing the feeling, you know, with being with my parents. First Christmas Day, we visit our parents, and yeah, that was kind of awesome. Uh, Kind of busy though, because yeah, I have a lot of families to go to now, but oh well, who cares? <laughs> but anyway, it was kind of funny. You will not keep following me. Thank you. So, yeah, um, well, like I told you, uh, Zip20 Go got a, yeah, three, yes, I got an extra memory disk for my computer, and uh, I got a printer to print stuff out and all that stuff, so. I just saw a wild, a wild pig! Oh, see, look, the black one's there. Don't you see him? This is perfect! My wife was just telling me how she really wants the pet. You really... You ready to grab him, Steven? Now. You can't just run out into it. Pigs are too early. Yeah, shut up. He's just telling us how to catch that beast if we want. But really, there's no point of doing that right now, so... Um... Oh, yeah. oh Steven! I'm going to tell you about the targeting. Shut up! We don't care. We don't care, so please shut the fuck up! Okay, well... Uh... Dude, get a tissue because you have an issue. Anyway, there's a hole down here. No, not, do not climb it. Do not climb it. Crouch, thank you very much. This is actually kind of funny because now I have a GameCube controller with a GameCube game because the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and the Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask were both uh, on the Nintendo 64. And I played them through my Wii with the GameCube controller and that was kind of annoying. Anyway, there's a secret treasure! And that will contain an orange ruby. One of these is worth 100 rubies. Your face is beaming. Awesome sauce. Now, now we're going to return back and we already have 115 rubies. Uh, no, I want to crouch. It's not going automatically. We're not playing Majora's Mask or the Ocarina of Time. Jeez. Uh, we want to go to Grandmother's. And this is a nice look for Link. <coughs> um... So yeah, I've been busy playing uh, Skyward Sword, uh, the heroes mode already, and I have to tell you that's really a big challenge. Um, 
we're also playing a uh, London party from uh, Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games and that game is also very good if you want to play it with uh, more people. It's really a funny thing to do with two people. Uh, stand there. Somebody home! Yeah, and on uh, the Game Boy I'm playing uh, some of the 23 games, uh, like the Minish Cap, I'm replaying the Minish Cap, Link's Awakening, I just bought that one for the 3DS, so... Because that's kind of funny to have so many games. <clears throat> anyway, I've been... No, that's not a good voice. I've been waiting to you, Steven, for you, Steven. Steven, ready is on. Oh no! Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Oh god, and I'm not happy with the arrow's clothes. They look like they are a little too warm for this weather. That's funny to say that in December anyway. Well, it's hot in here anyway. It's too hot. Let's put it that way. It's like 10 degrees right now and it's supposed to be freezing. We didn't saw any snow uh, at this moment. So anyway. <clears throat> Don't look too disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child! In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from these days. Oh, so awesome. Is that a Pikachu there? Looks like a Pikachu. Oh, no, wait, that's the sister. Never mind. Does this all make sense to you? No! Oh, uh, yes, apparently. Isn't that nice, Steven? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Shit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Yeah, stop talking. Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. I just know you're looking t forward to it. Now go! Get your sister, Errol. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but anyway. Well, we are getting close to uh, 50 minutes already. Jeez, and we didn't do anything in this game. Well, we got 50... Well, 150 rubies. That's the only thing that we got. And we talked about how my Christmas was. And I have to say I'm not happy with another white Christmas. It was totally not a white Christmas. It was a dark and... Kind of depressing Christmas, you know, the clouds were hanging, it was raining, the, the, the weather was wet, it wasn't even cold, and the only thing that gave the, yeah, that gave the Christmas feeling was everywhere there were hanging Christmas, Christmas lights and Christmas decorations, so it was, this year was a dark Christmas, actually, um, if you talk about the weather, of course, so, DO NOT FOLLOW ME! Get a tissue! Get a tissue! Yeah, I, uh, oh fuck, yeah, really. So anyway, um, yeah, can we do this scene yet? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can do this scene while well, we only have one more minute, so... Mm. You know what? If I'm not mistaken, if you're going to get up here... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to wait. Oh god, I started already. Ah, hi big brother! Did grandma make that outfit for you? Ugh. But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in these clothes. Yeah, I'm cool. I know. I'm a man. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Steven... Um, <coughs> Steven! Sorry. Can you close your eyes and hold up your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging just for one day. Okay, so if you want to see what that present is going to be, stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I hope you, lo uh, you like this uh, beginning of The Wind Waker, because we're going to have a lot of fun with this uh, game. If you want to see a Dutch version of uh, this Let's Play, you can uh, watch Ninwees if you want. Uh, he's doing this game in Dutch, and that's also very hilarious if you understand our language. So, with that, I'm just going to sign off, and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, or... 
Yeah, I'm not. Uh, Mario is coming a bit later, so um, tomorrow will be the Wind Waker again. So uh, don't worry about it. Well, see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>